Hey there, I'm Lydia Walker from RusticSongbird.com and today I want to talk to you about finding time to write. Several people have been talking about having trouble just making the time to get in some writing, uh, whether it's songwriting or an another kind of writing. So I wanted to address that today in this video and I hope you get something out of it. These are just some things that have helped me along the way. I've been songwriting for about 13 years and I really enjoy it and I love expressing myself through my writing and something that I've had to learn is how to manage my time, how to prioritize and how to make that time to write. So I'm going to share some things with you that I wrote down and uh, one thing is that anytime an idea hits you, I want you to stop right there and either write it down jot it down on a piece of paper or a napkin. Some of the best songs are written that way. Or if you're driving or something, you can always record it on an audio recorder on your phone. So uh, just on the voice memos, you can do that and save it so you can go back to it later. That's really helpful for me because I get a lot of ideas while I'm driving. That's good thinking time for me. So I'll just record it on my phone on the audio recorder and it has like that melody or that line of a song and then I can go back to it later. Another thing is that you can use the voice to text feature on your phone, the little microphone on your keyboard and uh, you can just press that and basically talk to yourself and it will type it for you. This is awesome especially if you have kids because I've learned just having one baby uh, that my hands are full all the time and sometimes typing with one finger just doesn't cut it. So that has been really helpful uh, for my writing because if I am driving or if my hands are full, I can just voice to text and say whatever I'm thinking. It'll type it out for me and I can always copy and paste and go back later and do any editing. But the voice to text feature is a lifesaver and I would encourage you to try that out. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is blocking off time to write. So make a time block where you put aside all distractions and only write during that time. And if you know you may never get around to it, this is a great option for you because you're making an appointment with yourself, making an appointment with your notebook, or you can also co-write, write with someone else and then that adds another layer of accountability because you're making an appointment with them. So that's a great way to block it off and I really think that anybody can find a little time to write every day. If it's 10 minutes, that's great. If it's an hour or even two, even better. The main thing is to just write a little bit every day. You'll get in the flow of it, and it doesn't matter if you have a finished idea, but just keep it going. Um, just to get it down on paper is so important. But if writing is important to you, then you need to make time for it. And that might mean waking up a little earlier, that might mean turning off the TV, that might mean saying no to something, which I could make a whole other video about that, and I probably will. But the main thing is that if writing is important to you, you need to make it a priority during that time. And I know we all have lives, we have commitments, we have things that we need to do, but we can shift some things around to write for 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever that looks like for you. And it might be different day to day and that's totally fine. Give yourself some freedom and some grace to just take it as you can, take it as it comes. If you can, pick a place to write that is calm and peaceful and inspiring. Those are some great moments, but if not, I want to encourage you to just write in the middle of chaos. Whatever is going on, if there's noise, if it's not the most Instagram worthy looking view out your window, it doesn't matter. You know, you've got that imagination, you've got all of these awesome ideas in your head and you just need to get them down on paper. So just write in the midst of chaos if you have to. It's always nice to have those times where you are peaceful and tranquil and you can just write to your heart's content, but that's not the reality for most of us on most days. So just know that you're not alone in that and we're all in this together. I'm here for you and I want to encourage you that you're doing a great job and that we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So I want to encourage you to just kind of look at what 
your normal day, your normal routine looks like, and find a way to place a priority on a certain block of time. I think that will really help you in your writing and to be consistent. When you do take time to sit down and write, you can avoid staring at a blank page or at a blinking cursor by going back to those ideas that you jotted down on the go, maybe those audio recordings on your phone or something you wrote down on a napkin or a scrap of paper or a post-it, and you can go back to that as a starting point and expand on that idea further during your block of time that you've set aside. So I'd like to encourage you also not to edit yourself too much as you're writing, but just let it flow and write down everything that's on your mind, write down every thought, and it might not end up in the final version of that writing, but it's easier to edit it later on once it's already on paper. So I hope that helps you, and I would love to hear your ideas for finding time to write and what has helped you. So leave it in the comments and let me know. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on songwriting coming soon. Thanks so much for watching.